a choice in this world about how to tell sad stories. On the one hand, you can sugarcoat it. And nothing is too messed up that can't be fixed with a Peter Gabriel song. I like that version as much as the next girl does. You two get to play the parents here of a teenager with cancer, and as a parent myself, like, I instantly put myself in your shoes with the whole you know, what would I do question. And I wonder if taking on the roles, that was something you could ever distance yourself from. You know, what would I do if it was a loved one? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was really daunting. It was daunting for me to, 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 to do the part in that sense because it does bring up that question. Um, and, you, of course, you can't, uh, you know, you don't, you don't think about it. Uh, you know, you don't dwell on it. But you can't distance yourself from it too much because that's part of what the whole story is about is, is kind of accepting the, the sort of beautiful, short lives that we have and uh, the fact that, there's going to be pain, and that's beautiful too. So, you know, it it, um, it was always right there, but in a, in kind of a good way, you know, um, a way that helped helped us in the movie, I think. And as much as uh, that, it's the daunting nature of considering grief. Uh, the gift of the book and the gift of the movie is. Um, that it's sort of the grand leveler of this story that, you know, it's inescapable to grieve and mm -hmm. let's hurl ourselves into loving and living. And John, yeah. John carries that story for all of us in such a beautiful way. So it would never give you pause, you would never have like, not taken the role because you would have to deal with these thoughts. I mean, just as a parent, given the parents that have approached us who are actually walking through this, um, I could never say no. Uh, to, to honor their bravery mm -hmm. and their mm -hmm. normalizing mm -hmm. illness and, and giving their children a good day or an okay day even is, uh, you know, it's, a, it's such an act of selflessness, so. And it's, it's such a great book and it was such a, be it's such a beautiful script that I was in for whatever. I mean, I, I, I really just am a, I'm a fan of John Green's and would have done anything in this movie and, and was so honored to get to play the parents, you know? You, you know, I great. think the uh, powerful movies are the ones where we know what's gonna happen, but it still affects us. And I think last mm -hmm. night at the theater, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. And I wonder, is it harder to uh, act in a movie? Do you do something differently knowing that so much of the audience knows what's gonna take place already? Uh, you know, I have to say, only one other time have I ever had this experience, and the ferocity of the filmmaker was just as determined as the ferocity of both John Green and Josh to, like, you drive through it with such confidence that you're unveiling a mystery. And I think it's the funny thing about life you can kind of have a feeling about what might happen, even though you have no idea, and yet you bravely make choices toward love or um, friendships, and uh, I, there's something really powerful to me about that. I, I'm really moved by that. Mm -hmm. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.